Hello, forever friends and family. Welcome to webinar number four. And we're going to read, to study, and hopefully to implement skills and knowledge from the outstanding book, The Two Minute Story for Network Marketing. Create the big picture story that sticks. The book is written by Kit and Tom, Big Alsh writer. My name is Alex Trunitsky, and I am the organizer of this webinar. And I, and I must apologize because last time we had a I had the technical challenges with connection with Doom, so it was unexpected interruption. So we continue to read this book from the last chapter we read in the previous webinar, and I would like to ask to continue to read. My friend and partner from Brooklyn, New York. Supervisor Isaac Gilbinovich. Isaac, please go ahead. Sorry, didn't unmute myself. Good evening, everybody. Some two minute story presentations. Use these examples as templates to create our own two minute story presentation. Once we design our own two-minute story, we will want to use it as often as possible. It's easy for you and easy for our prospects. Natural cleaners. We've got a good story. Takes about, I've got a good story. Takes about two minutes. It might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Would it be okay if you never had to go to work again? So how much money would it take so that you would never have to go to, to show up for work again. Well, you know how people worry about our environment and always want to help. Well, there is a company called Supernatural Cleaners that makes natural cleaning products to replace all those chemical cleaners we have around our houses. Now, if you never wanted to go to work again, all you would have to do is tell families they now have a natural choice for their cleaning products and eventually get 250 families to use the new natural cleaning products. Now, you don't know how to get 250 families to use the natural cleaning products, but you can learn. You learn how to drive a car, you learn how to use your smartphone, and you certainly can learn a system to get 250 families to change their cleaning products, and then you would earn an extra $5,000 a month. So, what is going to be easier for you? To continue going to that job you have no, uh, no passion for, or to learn a system to help families improve our environment and have a career with meaning. Vitamins and energy drinks. I've got a good story. Takes about two minutes. It might, make, it might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Would it be okay if you never had to go to work again? So how much money would it take so that you would never have to show up for work again? Well, you know how most people are taking a handful of vitamins and buying energy drinks every day? Well, there is a company called Awesome Healthy Wonderful Products that makes cool versions of healthy products and an all-natural, super organic energy drink people love. Now, if you never wanted to go to work again, all you would have to do is get people to sample these products every day until you get 300 people who order their healthy products from you regularly. Now, you don't know how to get 300 people hooked on these healthy products, but you can learn. You learn how to use the internet, you learn how to speak Spanish, and you certainly can learn a system to get 300 people to use these products. And then you would earn an extra $5,000 a month. So what is it going to be easier for you? To continue commuting two hours every day to work or to learn our sampling system to, so that you can work out of your home instead? Utilities. I've got a good story. 
takes about two minutes. It might it might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Would it be okay if you never had to go to work again? So how much money would it take so that would it take so that you would never have to show up for work again? Well, you know how every uh, everyone gets electric electricity bill, phone bill, and other utility bills. Well, there is a company called Pay Us Less that makes those bills smaller. So people have more money in their pockets. Now, if you never wanted to go to work again, all you would have to do is build a, a, te build a team of 40 part-time neighborhood helpers and teach them how to get their neighbors to receive lower utility bills. Now, you don't know how to build a team of 40 part-time neighborhood helpers, but you can learn. You learn how to organize our volunteer club. You learn how to run our parents' group. And you certainly can learn a system to get 40 part-time neighborhood helpers. And then you would earn an extra $5,000 a month. So what is going to be easier for you? To continue balancing two jobs and a family or to learn our system to build neighborhood helpers so that you never have to go to your job again travel. I've got a good story. It takes about two minutes. It may take you, it may make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Would it be okay if you never had to go to work again? So how much money would it take so that you would never have to show up for work again? Well, you know how people love taking holidays and forgetting about their jobs for two weeks. Well, there is a company called Cheap but stylish travel that helps us get huge discounts so we can take five-star holidays for the price of staying at a cheap hotel. Now, if you never wanted to go to work again, all you would have to go do is get 300 families to save money by switching from their boring holidays to cheap but stylish travels, luxury, all-inclusive holidays. Now. You don't know how to locate 300 families uh, who wants to switch to better holidays, but you can learn. You learn how to become an accountant. You learn how to get a driver license. And you certainly can learn a system to help 300 families save money while getting better holidays. And then you will earn an extra $5,000 a month. So what is it going to be easier for you? to continue working that accounting job and helping your boss get rich or to learn a system to help 300 families save money and have holidays that they will remember forever. Diet products. I've got a good story. It takes about two minutes. It might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Would it be okay if you never had to go to work again? So how much money would it take so that you would never have to show up for work again. Well, you know how people are always exercising, starving themselves, and watching their weight come back. Well, there is a company called Thinner Breakfast that, that makes a delicious chocolate breakfast drink that helps people lose uh, weight one time and keep it off forever. Now, if you never wanted to go to work again, all you would have to do is find 200 struggling dieters who are tired of dieting and want their breakfast to keep them fit for life. Now, you don't know how to find 200 struggling dieters, but you can learn. You learn how to find a local bonus shop, donut shop, and you learn how to avoid health clubs and exercise. And you certainly can learn a system to locate 200 struggling dieters who want to lose weight one time and keep it off forever. And then you would earn an extra 5,000 a month. So what is going to be easier for you to continue hoping your boss will give you a 200% raise or to learn a system to help struggling dieters lose weight and never have to beg for a raise again. Cosmetics. I've got a good story. 
takes about two minutes. It might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Would it be okay if you never had to go to work again? So how much money would it take so that you would never have to show up for work again? Well, you know how women love to buy cosmetics to look great. Well, there is a company called Never Then New, Cos Never Than New Cosmetics that manufactures all natural cosmetics that make faces glow. Now, if you never wanted to go to work again, all you would have to do is pass out enough samples of our magic foundation to find 300 women who, would who, who want to look better every day of their lives. Now, you don't know where to find these women or how to get them to try the foundation sample, but you can learn. You learn how to dance, you learn how to organize our women's group, and you certainly can learn a system to find 300 women who, would, who want to look better every day of their lives. And then you would earn an extra $5,000 a month. So what, what is going to be easier for you? To continue working for that tiny paycheck from our dream-sucking balls, or to learn a system to pass out enough foundation samples so that, so that we never have to show up to this low-paying job again. Isaac, Isaac, thank you very much. Take a break, please. And I would like continue to continue to continue to read this book. Zoe Sergey, Assistant Supervisor, Friend and Partner from Brooklyn. Zoe, please go ahead. Good evening, Forever Family. Thank you for your reading, Isaac. See a pattern yet? It should be easy to create our own two-minute story from the above examples. The two-minute story is easy to learn and easy to, to, to tell. Why does the two-minute story seem so natural? Our minds want to make a decision first and learn the details later. The two-minute story helps our prospects make a yes or no decision quickly. If our prospect's decision is no, we simply talk about something else. If our prospect decision is yes, then going into more detail makes sense. Why this works? Why does our two minute story connect so well with prospects? Hold on for a second, Zoe. Sorry for interruption. I saw my comments. I put it a couple of years ago. I want to share with you. I don't know what it is, honestly. I don't remember. Bec ah, okay, because this is about prospect, not a product. You see, I put it on September 29th, 2018, five years ago, almost five years ago. Why two minute story works? Because this is about prospect, not about product, not about business. It's about prospect. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. But why does our two minute story connect so well with prospects? Bill Jane says it best. He tells marketers, it doesn't matter what you are selling. Your direct marketing should never be about the product. It should always be about the prospect. That is the secret. Our two-minute story is all about our prospect. Prospects, they love it. We love it. It saves everyone time, but we can't use it all the time. Imagine an opportunity meeting at the local hotel. The two-minute story would not be appropriate for a presentation. The first problem, we couldn't ask everyone for their minimum monthly expenses. Some guests may only need $3,000 a month, uh, $3, $3, a month. Other guests might need a lot more. Second problem, our entire presentation would be over in two minutes. Our guests drove all the way to our meeting and it only lasted two minutes there will be some unhappy guests third problem 
What about a presentation to a detail addicted accountant? The two minute story wouldn't be an uh, adequate explanation. But most of the time, our one on one or two on one presentations can use the two minute story effectively. We may also find it to be a perfect solution for many phone conversations. The two minute story should be used when appropriate. Hold on for a second, sorry for interruption. There is another comment right here I wanna share with you. When appropriate, I made it, this comment for myself. I mean, I did it for myself when appropriate, I believe it's very, very valuable, not in a whole meeting with 20 people in the room or 30 people in the room or seven people in the room, when appropriate. Please go ahead. So the two minute story should be used when appropriate. There are many other presentation methods available. As professionals, we should evaluate the situation and decide which method is appropriate at the time. One last reminder. Remember that all the examples in this book are for $5,000 a month. We can create a two minute story for any amount of monthly income. Where can we use our two minute story? The possibilities are endless. Most presentations take a long time or require a special business setting. Our short and flexible two minute story presentation can fit into almost any conversation. Here are some examples. Use our two minute story with cold prospects. Imagine we send our cold prospect to look uh, at a video on our website. Our follow-up call might go something like this, us. Just checking back to see if you had a chance to look at the video. If you're like most people, you haven't had a chance to look at it yet. The prospect relaxes and thinks you are a mind reader. Now we have great rapport with our prospect. prospect. Yes, you are right. I did not get a chance to look at the video yet. Us. No problem. I know you're busy. I will get back to you in a week or so. Prospect relaxes even more. Prospect, thanks. Us. Oh, and one more thing. I've got a good story. Takes about two minutes. Might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? A prospect, yes, we turned off the salesman alarm and now our prospect eagerly waits for our story. Use our two minute story during coffee break. Everyone hold looks- Hold on, Zoe, hold on, please, hold on. I saw my comments right here. I would like to see it, what it is. This is a great approach. <laughs> That's my comment. Because it's a really great approach. Use two-minute story during the coffee break. <laughs> Please okay. go ahead. So use our two-minute story during coffee break. Everyone looks for new and refreshing conversation during coffee breaks. All we have to say to our co-workers is, I've got a good story. The conversation and story are easy. Use our two-minute story at family reunions. What should be what should we say when a relative asks us what is new with you? Easy. We simply reply, I've got a good story. Everyone wants to listen to a story. Use our two minute story at net at net uh, networking events. What should we say when someone asks us, What do you do for a living? Easy. We simply reply. I've got a good story. This already sounds interesting to our conversation partner. What could happen? 
most of us can't wait to tell our two-minute story several times a day. Let's look at the possibilities. Hold on for a second, Zoe. Three times a day. What says in my comments here? Three per day or go for no as many times as I plan. Three per day or go for no as many times as I plan. Okay, very simple. Please go so, ahead. Three times a day. Imagine we set a personal goal to tell our two-minute story three times a day. Anyone can fit into uh, can fit that into a schedule. For some people, they could do this while commuting. Others could tell their story at work. Many will tell their stories while chatting with their friends. If we succeed in telling our two-minute story three times a day, that means 90 prospects hear our story every month. That's 90 people who hear how they never have to show up to work again. So out of the 90 prospects who hear our story, how many will want to join us and our opportunity? Even if we are bad, really bad, and we ruin 90% of the prospects we talk to, that still leaves us with nine new personally sponsored distributors. And this assumes in, in complete, in, com, incompetence. Out of 90 people, we surely would have nine volunteers, no matter how badly, we messed up. The good news about a two-minute story is that prospects love stories that are short and to the point. A terrible two-minute story is always better than a perfect one-hour presentation. But what if we are good, really good, with our two-minute story presentation? Then almost everyone will want to join. If the timing is right for our prospects, our two-minute story is the most exciting news they can imagine. Never have to go to work again is a dream come true. Are we seeing an expressway to success? But what if my prospect isn't interested in my story? Move on. There is an old saying, no matter how hard we dance, some people aren't going to clap. If our prospect isn't interested, we change the subject and talk about something else. That is how most conversations work. We will eventually find something that is interesting for both of us to talk about. This is so good, we want our team to use it too. So our next step is to get some serious team members to commit to telling their two-minute story at least once a day. Zoe, thank what? you very much. Thank you for your reading. Please take a break. I would like to ask continue to read friend and partner, the most reliable manager from New Jersey, Iris Christopher. Iris, please go ahead. Thank you, readers. Thank you, Alex. What to say to team members? Now, here is a strategy. Explain our two-minute story plan to members on our team. Here is an example of what we could say. Every day, tell one person this little two-minute story presentation. Say, I've got a good story. Takes about two minutes. Might make you a lot of money, might not. Want to hear it? Then we will tell our two-minute story. That is it. No need to close, no need to harass, no need to follow up. Our prospects either get it or they don't get it. Now, if some of our prospects don't get it, we don't want to pressure them into joining our business. If we force them to join, 
we will have to sell them over and over again, every day. Now, we become a full-time babysitter, reconvincing these two new team members each day. We hate it. They hate it. They become a vampire team members because they suck the life out of us daily. They want us to buy their products, sell their products, find their people, train their people, listen to their personal problems, and they will blame us, our company, and anyone they can think of for every bad thing that happens in their lives. If some of our prospects are skeptical, leave them alone. Skeptics make terrible entrepreneurs. They look for reasons to sabotage their success. They spend their energy looking for reasons why it won't work for them. To be a successful entrepreneur, these skeptics need counseling. We are not qualified as counselors. Yes, the skeptics are happy finding reasons why things won't work. Leave them alone. If we waste time counseling the skeptics, we will miss the good people who will happily build our business. Now, if some of our prospects get it, they will say, so how can I get started? Consider this leadership test. They pass. We love these people. They will always be looking for reason why their business will work. Now, if we tell this little story 365 times this year, some people will join. These are the people we want. So, don't tell the story with an agenda. Don't try to manipulate people to join. Simply tell your story. Take the volunteers that get it and we will never experience rejection. Tell this story 30 times this month. Lean back. Take the volunteers that get it. Work with them. Show them how to tell the story. Repeat. But I know we want to enhance the story. We want more people to volunteer to join. In that case, we could say this to our favorite people. I am telling this story once a day. I will become a diamond in about six months. It will be fun. It will change my life. You know, six months from now is going to come anyway. I might as well have $5,000 a month coming in. I look forward to the trips, the extra cash, the spending more time with my friends and relatives who decided to come along with me too. Most people are followers. They desperately try to find someone to lead them. When we state that we are going to be a diamond with them or without them, many people are going to say, Hey, take me with you. I don't like where I am going. I like where you are going. Now, we are attracting people. This is different than hard selling or begging people. Desperation drives people away. Not having an agenda is better. We should think like this. Hey, I will tell you this two-minute story. I don't mind if you join or not. That is up to you. I just tell the story, and if it's the right time in your life, you will jump at the opportunity. If it's not the right time in your life, then you might remember the story when the timing is better for you. My job is to tell the story and take the volunteers. I know we can tell the story once a day. We don't want to be salespeople. We don't want to beg. We don't want to babysit people. 
all we have to say is something like this once a day. I've got a good story. It takes about two minutes. Might make you a lot of money or might not. Want to hear it? Or we could say something like this. I've got a good story. It takes about two minutes. Might make you a lot of money. Might not. You might not be ready for this. I don't know. But if you want to hear the story, I will tell you. If we tell this story once a day, we will locate the team members we need to become a diamond. This is how we can work our business. Totally within our comfort zone. Totally within the time we have. And keep the respect of the people we meet. Many people want exactly the same things we want. They want our opportunity. They want our products. They want our lifestyle and trips. And these people want it now. So we can choose to tell our two-minute story and join the diamonds on the yearly trips. Or we can choose to receive postcards from the diamonds who qualify. This explanation is all our team members need to know to make their decision. If they make a DS decision to join us in telling the two-minute story, then we will invite them to our weekly training and reporting call. Let's see how our weekly call will work. Thank you very much for your reading, Iris. And I would like to encourage everybody to speak up right now. Let's take some kind of break of the region and let's have a discussion. What is your impression? I would encourage everybody who wants to share, unmute your microphone and please speak up. Okay, Alex. Go ahead. Yeah, my impression is that um, it's really like um, if you take out the, what he said, if you take out the pressure on yourself and just don't have an agenda, you, you will be able to tell the, the the story as you memorize it and it will be, become natural to you and um, it will be easier for you to tell more people than than um, how you were doing it before. So it, it, it comes to be like encouraging to people that are in their comfort zone still. Because um, having these scripts is also within the comfort zone, but you will be able to tell people what you need to tell them to encourage them to look or like uh, take uh, take notice of what you're offering. Absolutely. Thank you, Iris. Thanks a lot. Isaac? Yes. I guess uh, you're ready, good evening, right? everybody. Okay. Uh, I would encourage everybody to create a number of stories, meaning uh, same story, but slightly different, slightly modified. Like, for example, uh, in every story, they say, how much money do you need not to show up for work? Well, not everybody doesn't want to show up for work. Okay, Some people want to spend more time with their family, for example, or some people want to send their children to a better school. School, for example. So when you talk to people, when we talk to people, we should actually listen. That's another thing they're saying. Listen to what they say and then plug in what they're more in, most interested in the story. Okay? And it's a very flexible story. It's beautiful. We can plug in anything we want or any not anything we want, but anything should be plugged in. Okay? Don't just stick to the to the script. Script is just an example, just like a template. We should modify the story a little bit. Oh, and I'm sorry, not modify, customize. Oh, that's the word I was looking for. Customize the story for every conversation. Still two minutes, still beautiful, still simple, but customized for a specific person. That's my take on it. Okay, thanks a lot. Very good advice, very good idea. Customize and make it personal story. Ask a question and remember what is the answer. Regardless to the numbers, they will share with us. Anybody else? All right. I prepare somebody else. Yes, Zoya, please go ahead. 
Yeah, I agree with you and um, Isaac and uh, um, Aris because you have to like memorize first of all like um, the core, and then uh, according to the situation you can um, use this uh, story. For example, let's say forever products, either cosmetics, either like uh, something for uh, health. Um, so. And be ready, like if you see that person, you start talking to him, like um, Isaac says, uh, and then you like realize, okay, he gets this problem, and then you should be ready with this, like example of the story about, uh, let's say about this or that. It's nice to have like that ready story in your mind to use it in your conversation, and then you will realize whether he's ready for this. To go further with you or not yeah it's nice it's nice to and and it's it's interesting that if you start doing it like once a day it's probably like the beginning then to use it three times a day just to start it's not easy to start when, when, but when you start then uh, it's easier maybe to continue with this absolutely correct thank you very much Zoe. Thank you. And I also would like to encourage everybody to be ready for next Monday with your own two minute story and share with everybody. Make a customization as Isaac advised and share with every with us during the next webinar because next webinar we will be we will complete this book. We are going to finish this book next webinar. Thank you everybody. How then I prepare one more thing, I prepare some surprise for us. I would like to share, give me a minute, please. Let me share the screen and I would encourage, I have a very, very good, interesting video with a lot of good pictures. And please choose what would be your favorite picture when this video will end. It's four minutes and Four, four minutes and 40 seconds. But believe me, you're going to love it. And please confirm when you see the screen. What do you see on the screen right now? TikTok. Okay, let's move on. Thank you. New interesting discoveries around the world. Edith Steiner, a Jewish woman who survived the Holocaust and John McKay, the Scottish soldier that saved her. They celebrated their 71st wedding anniversary this year. The great-eared nightjar is pretty much a dragon bird. In 1960, David Latimer planted a tiny garden inside of a large glass bottle and sealed it shut. This is a pencil drawing by 16-year-old artist Shania McDonough, the most beautiful corn on this planet. It's a Native American variety called glass gem corn. And yes, it really does grow like that. Unexpected photo. Took me a second to see it. Mother Nature is amazing. I hope you saw this right on the tree. Leopard. Yes. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, just in case. Because first time I did not realize it's on a tree like that. Okay, please go. Okay, let's move on. A wheat field next to a lavender field. If you are having a bad day, just take a second to look at my silly crested duck, Gertrude, and she will put a smile on your face. Yes, that is her real hair. A seascape in the sky. Incredible photo captures a woodpecker flying with a weasel on its back. What an amazing photo. The blue bird beside the sculpture bird. Looking at San Francisco as intently as if he actually heard it. Upside down fig tree in Bacoli, Italy. No one is quite sure how the tree ended up there or how it survived, but year after year it continues to grow downwards and bear figs. Alley of the Baobabs in Madagascar, where Poseidon takes his walks, Zakynthos, Greece. Imagine finding this on your front porch in the morning. The water in both tanks is from the same time and place. The tank on the right has oysters. 
This library is 114 years old. The inside of a gypsy's caravan carriage from the 1800s. Brazil, emerald sand dunes. The lagoons, which can reach a depth of 3 meters and a length of 90 meters, are reformed every year. Rainfall between January and June fills the sand dunes with water and sometimes lagoons can be connected to each other by small streams. Rare giant amethyst geode from Uruguay. The skeleton of a puffer fish. When you think nature cannot amaze you anymore. When you accidentally find your doppelganger on a painting made over 100 years ago. It was found in Southeast Asia and is a flying lizard. Architecturally unbelievable. Sumela Monastery in Trabzon Province in the Black Sea region of Turkey. 300-year-old oak trees, Oak Alley Plantation, Louisiana. This variety of orchids, Dracula simia, is so amazing. Looks like baby monkeys. Ginormous octopus. Indian flying fox and baby along ride. The Blue Dragon River in Portugal. Seen from the International Space Station. Ice eggs, thousands of balls of ice cover beach in Finland due to a phenomenon that occurs when ice are rolled over by water and wind. A grape cluster formed by grape clusters. This cluster is called the Caleb Cluster. Dolphin baby in mother's womb. How amazing is this? The Prague Astronomical Clock, Prague Orloge, a medieval astronomical clock located in the capital city of Prague. First installed in 1410, it is the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest clock still operating. Earth's Eye Lake, Croatia. A natural beehive filled with honey, glowing in the sunlight. Aboriginal Elder, Australia. This artist spent eight years to create this tree chair using methods of gradual redirection of the branches, which consists of shaping the trees as they grow according to predetermined designs. Dragon sculpture at the town hall in the northern part of Marienplatz in Munich, Bavaria, Germany. Largest tree in the world. Two rivers meet without mixing in Georgia. Queensland, Australia. Sailfish are considered the fastest fish in the sea, reaching top speeds of 70 miles per hour. From Middlehouse, Egypt, Claro, Pretty impressive. It's not very impressive. I hope you enjoy it. Very much. Thank yes. you so much. Thank Alice. you. Beautiful. All right. So have a great week, everybody. I'll see you on the. We will talk on the next webinar next Monday. Thank you, readers. Isaac, Zoya. Isaac, Zoya, Iris, and thank you, everybody. Take care. Good night. Good night. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Thanks readers. A lot, readers. Good night. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Good night. Good night.